How would you respond if you witnessed this? Dan Konzelman had only seconds to answer that question. When I arrived, there was three people pinned underneath that car that had flipped upside down. We met him one year ago today, just hours after he responded to this Amtrak derailment. A year later, Konzelman remembers every moment. I was on my way to work and the train was driving right parallel to us on the freeway and then it crossed right in front of us on, on the bridge and derailed. Pretty close call, you know, I think we were within 10 seconds of being underneath the train. In the minutes after the derailment, Dan helped more than a dozen passengers. There was pieces of trains and cars and glass and metal um, everywhere and broken people. Pretty soon you're like crawling, crawling through train cars where the roofs are collapsed in and climbing through broken windows and you know, looking for anybody that might be alive in the wreckage. In so many ways, this devastation changed his life. It strengthened his faith, reminded him that life is precious, and it gave him motivation. Motivation to leave accounting and pursue a new career. That train accident made me realize I want to like help people and make a difference in other people's lives. I actually like have decided to stop accounting and just got hired with the, like the Tacoma Fire Department and I'm going to be doing firefighting as a result of the train wreck. Amid so much sadness, you can still find goodness. And in this story, perhaps it's this. This good man who helped so many will now help so many more. You're blessed when you give. It's more blessed to give than to receive. In Pierce County, I'm Alex Rozier, King 5 News.